A new survey of Pasco County students has leaders shocked tonight. The numbers showing risky behaviors involving sex and drugs and also alarming numbers involving suicidal thoughts. ABC Action News reporter Eric Waxler tonight with how the school district is now hoping to use this information to make changes. Of the 1,498 high school students surveyed in Pasco County, more than 36% say they have had sexual intercourse, some before they turned 13. Half of them also said they did not use protection. And almost 20% used drugs or alcohol before their last encounter. It's those numbers school district leaders plan to use as they work on revising the sex education curriculum. It is staggering data to think that we have the numbers of kids out there that are um, engaged sexually um, and you know as a superintendent I want to make sure that our kids are safe. The district had planned on finalizing a new sex ed curriculum for the first time in 15 years but the superintendent wants to take more time to look at options after some recent controversy involving how schools address gender identification issues. It's those issues a group called Protect Pasco Children are focused on. They say the district is violating parents' rights by cutting them out on important decisions. We want um, parents to know if their middle school child is involved in a club based on sexuality um, with children in high school or just be in the club at all. You know, parents need to know and be able to have those conversations with their children. The district will also continue to work on dealing with teen suicide. More than 42% of students surveyed said they felt sad or hopeless almost every day for more than two weeks. And about 74% of those were LGBTQ students. Nearly a quarter of those surveyed say they've also seriously considered taking their own lives. The survey includes students at all but one Pasco County High School. In Land O'Lakes, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.